이 하프로 당신의 운명을 조율해 드리죠. 헬로, I'm storyteller. I remember, so you don't have to. I'm partner streamer of Summoner's World Chronicle, and today's video is review of Harp Magician. The Life Harp Magician is a monster that came out when the Guild Raid was released, and you can continuously supply pieces through the Guild Raid. And Dark Harp Magician can be obtained by Monster Story. And if you want to awaken, you must use the Altar's Blessing. Many subscribers have asked about performance, so let's talk about performance. As an aside, thanks to the current Arena Ranker number 2 who gives an opinion for helping global users. Number 1. Light Harp Magician The Light Harp Magician is a monster that specialized in constant fighting and have best performance in Galagos Ruins which has recently released in Korea. Her first skill is an area attack with damage taken up and unrecoverable that prevents the monster from recovering and helps to catch it quickly through more damage. Her skill 2 put nearby monsters to sleep for 11 seconds, rendering them incapacitated and providing wide area recovery. If there is an increased recovery buff, it also adds a shield, so it greatly increases the stability of the team. Passive is a special ability of Light Hop Magician, once every 6 seconds. If you kill a monster, it grants recovery, increases damage dealt, increases recovery, increases mana recovery speed. This insane passive activates just every 6 seconds, but it's less useful than you might think. Most of the PvE contents such as Path of Adventure and Raid it against a single powerful boss, so there is no passive activation. However, it is one of the best supporters in the hero area because it continuously hunts powerful field monsters. And the recently released Galagos Ruins is a content that deal with multiple enemy groups like World of Warcraft Instant Raid. In there, Light Harp Magician is OP, overpowered. When fighting with multiple monsters, if you kill just one monster, recovery and powerful buffs are applied, and when dealing a group of powerful monsters, it helps to kill one by one through sleep. Oh, and it is also sometimes used on the battlefield, and it is very good for incapacitating the opponent's group due to wide area sleep. Do you want to neutralize your opponents on the battlefield? Is Light Garuda the only healer for the Tower of Light? Do you want to easily clear the soon-to-be-released Galagos Ruins? Be prepared, Life Half Magician will not disappoint you. Number 2, Dark Half Magician Dark Half Magician first skill has a high coefficient of health proportional heal and removes debuff. Compared to the Water Occult Girl, you can see that the amount of recovery is very high. And her second skill gives defense up to allies and attack down to enemies. This makes the party's staying power stronger. Her passive, like Water Ifrit, ignores the lesser damage and after heals and attack up to help avoid critical situation and deal more powerful damage. However, in order to receive the attack up buff, allies must receive lesser damage. The cooldown is 3 minutes works as a weakness for her. Nevertheless, she is highly regarded. Her recovery amount is so high and her defense up for allies and attack down for enemies are really useful. It's also good in the Galagos Ruins fighting a lot of powerful enemies. And it is also good when climbing the Tower of Dark. However, since there is no reason to use the Dark Harp Magician in other content, so the usefulness is still little low. I plan to raise Light Half Magician to clear the Galagos Ruin, but Dark Half Magician? Hmm, I don't think I will be raging her for a while, because I don't have Devil Moss and no money. Finally, I will show you the summoning lines. I hope this video helps you guys. So, take a long look. Goodbye. E hapuru, tangshine unmyeongul joyeul edeureujeo. Jino
명곡을 연주할 준비가 됐네. 아니, 쿨타임이 뭔 장난감 아니야, 나랑? 야, 방금 썼는데 또 쓰는 게 어딨냐, 너? 이 미친놈인가, 이거 쿨타임이 없어, 너? 야, 너 쿨타임. 너 쿨타임 없냐? 어, 이 양심 뒤진. 궁극기! 죽여! 죽여, 오케이. 죽였어. 좋아. 아직까지 희망찬 미래가 보이고 있어. 나 죽여! 제발 죽여줘! 나 죽네! 아니 미친놈들인가 이거 평타를 뭔 얼마나 <웃음>